Okay, what the heck is that noise? Last night, I stayed alone in a free campsite in the Colville National Forest. It's day 14 of my 30-day camping adventure around the U.S. Northwest, and I had big plans today that blow up in the most heartbreaking way as I attempt to meet up with my daughter. And it all started with this really creepy noise. This forest has been totally quiet, except for that. Is it a wheezing moose? Is it man-made? Mosquitoes are out. I gotta spray myself. Oh, it's a deer or a buck or something I just saw. It's too far away to show you. It just went behind a bush. I don't know what that was. If you know in the comments, let me know. Good morning! Oh my gosh, that was such a great camp spot. It was roomy, there wasn't anyone around. I could hear the highway in the distance, but it was faint and not many cars went by. Nobody went by on this dirt road at all last night. I saw some guy um, this morning, like as I was getting ready to leave, go by, I think he checked it out, but he moved on. Oh my God, that deer making that weird noise. I don't know what that was. It took me a while to figure out it was a deer. Okay, little chipmunk, get off the road. <laughs> Big plans today. I am on my way to Sandpoint. I'm meeting up with Darren and Patty who invited me to the Ajuna concert. For breakfast, they just happen to be there at the same time. Um, they're gonna be heading back to Sacramento soon. And then after that, I'm going to see my daughter who lives in an abbey. We have two adult daughters. One talks to us and the other, tragically, does not. This is the one who does, but we only get to see her maybe once a year and only get to talk to her for 20 minutes every two weeks or so because of this austere monastic life she's chosen. So getting to see her for a few days like this in person is really, really important. I need to get a COVID test to get into the Abbey and so I'm doing that and then I also need to put together a food offering for the Abbey because they survive totally on the kindness of the community and so I'm going to be bringing them a whole bunch of groceries. So I got to do that and then I'll be heading back from Sandpoint to Newport, Washington which is where the Stravasti Abbey is where my daughter is. So I'm excited to spend a few days with them and just see what the monastic life is all about. I'm totally curious, but also a little bit scared. You really have to unplug while you're there. I'm also expected to partake in all of their rituals and things. And I think they get up like really early in the morning at like 4.45 or 5 or whatever for prayer and chanting and just all this stuff that's completely foreign to me, which I'm totally willing to give it a try. Um, curious to see how my daughter is living her life. It's all a big, I don't know. I don't know if I'll be able to film any of it. Um, I'm gonna ask them. Get ready for the pump, the cattle guard. Ooh, there's a view. Look at those mountains. Okay, they look so small on the camera, but they're so big in real life. When I came into cell service, I saw a notification from Safeway about my COVID test flash across the screen. I assumed it was to confirm my appointment, but that was not the case as it turns out, and I should have paid attention sooner, which may have prevented the situation from getting so out of hand later in the day. Oh, we just crossed the Priest River and I missed it. I'm so sorry. Oh my God, look at this. So there's a little pond. It's so pretty and there's mountains beyond. So I've been to this area a few times, but this is the first time I've been in the summer and it is so pretty. It's green, it's just wildflowers everywhere, it's just so beautiful here. We are almost to Sandpoint, I just had a long 
long conversation with Ted. This is just a great area of the country. I love it up here. Love it. I really want to spend more time here. I really want to get a van and spend a lot more time here. But we'll see. Oh my gosh, water on the right. That's a big old river. And on the left, beautiful cliffs. Okay, we made it to Sandpoint and I found parking in the shade only a couple blocks from the restaurant. So that's like a miracle. Oh, and it was free, my favorite price. So yeah, we're gonna meet Darren and Patty at Connie's Cafe and enjoy some good local food. Park where they have music sometimes. Downtown is a block away, we'll see that later. And here is our breakfast spot. So I didn't film much here because I wanted to be present with my friends, but after that I went downtown because I had a little bit of time to kill before my COVID test appointment. Okay, this place is fun. This is where we saw the live music last time we were here. Pendere Winery. They got some music coming up. Okay, so breakfast is over. I had that amazing uh, food. What is it called? Belgian waffle with whipped cream and strawberries. Forbidden food, that's what it's called. Because I can't have it because of Ted's diet. So anyway, that was yummy. Now um, I said goodbye to Patty and Darren and I am walking downtown to Sandpoint because I need to get a little gift for my daughter and uh, a gift for my friend who's hosting us in a couple of days. So yeah, we're just gonna Take a nice walk before it gets too, too hot, although it's pretty warm already, and see what we see. Yeah, after this, I looked at my phone and everything went downhill from here. It was so upsetting, I actually didn't film any of it, but here's what happened. Safeway had texted me early that morning to let me know that they had run out of COVID tests. Got that, I had an appointment for two o'clock. They told me they ran out of tests. So it's like, oh my God, what do I do now? So I started looking online for where else could I get a COVID test? I checked the hospital, but they couldn't do it for me for some reasons. There were some private doctors who wouldn't do it for me because I'm not one of their patients. So pretty much it was the drugstore solution. I called the Abbey to see if they would take the antigen test and they consulted their nurse and the nurse said, no, that's not acceptable. You need to have either the PCR test or the NAT test. So I spent the whole afternoon frantically calling around going online and looking at everybody's website where they had all their online appointments and trying to find a COVID test that I could take that day so that I could get the results back that day and go to the Abbey as planned to see my daughter. Everybody in the area was booked up and I was looking at having to drive to Spokane an hour and a half away. This was catastrophic. On a lighter note, this Cedar Street Bridge Market is a lot of fun with artsy local vendors and it has a very nice women's bathroom upstairs where if you go to the last stall, you'll get this, a loo with a view. Meanwhile, still frantically trying to figure out the COVID test situation, I decided I needed a change of scenery to help calm my nerves. Okay, so I had a little extra time, so my friend who lives nearby said that I should definitely try the Pendere Bay Trail. It's shady and there's a breeze today off the lake, which is great. Feels cooler already being down here. So yeah, we're probably not going to go too far because it's like 95 degrees, but we'll go a little ways and see what we can see and yeah, let's go for a walk. Yeah, that was me trying to stay positive as I waited for callbacks, trying to figure out what to do. That looks shady and cool. But let's check out the water side.
Okay, this trail is so lovely and for my friends, Darren and Patty, it is flip-flop hiking. This trail goes on for about 3.3 miles, um, but I don't unfortunately have time to go all the way to the end today. My plans have changed. Safeway ran out of COVID tests, I had an appointment, they ran out of tests, so I had to scramble to find another acceptable test, which is basically an hour and away in a different town tomorrow. It's the only thing I could find. So instead of going to the Abbey tonight, I will be staying with a friend of mine, the friends I was gonna stay with in a couple days anyway. So she very graciously took me in for the night, which will be great because that means I can get a shower and do some laundry early. So maybe I'll even get some editing done on my next video. So maybe it's all a blessing in disguise. Once I get the test done tomorrow morning, I have to wait two hours for the result. And hopefully I should be able to get to the Abbey around lunchtime. And then I can still spend a couple nights there and see my daughter. Sometimes things happen and you just gotta roll with the punches. Um, kind of disappointed in Safeway though for not ordering enough tests, but what are you gonna do? All right, so I'm gonna walk a little longer and then we're gonna head back to the car and we're gonna head on over to Hope, Idaho. Now, Diane, you may need more limeade because it's kind of strong for that little glass. Today I went from being alone in the woods wondering what the heck is that noise to having a near panic attack over not being able to see my daughter to sipping margaritas and catching up with one of my dearest friends on the deck of her lovely home. Travel can be an absolute roller coaster and you've just got to go with it. Next time, we're going to get that COVID test, hopefully pass it, and see what monastic life in Northwest Washington is all about. I put my uh, guest to work. At Camp Kissel. <laughs> You're such a good waterer, Diane. You should just stay. I've got all kinds of beautiful things. It's been a few things. years, but yes, I used to water all the time. Mm.